So we are on the verge of changing the whole look of this house. So if you want to learn how to turn a boring build to this marvelous build and look, then keep on watching. <laughs> But first thing first, when it comes to landscaping, I think a decisive thing is to pick the right trees. If you like this type of content, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it really, really helps me a lot. Thank you so much and I appreciate you a whole lot. You can even get inspiration from the trees that are included in the world that you are currently building in. And so I'm just gonna take a bit of inspiration from this Brindleton Bay world although it's not a rule you can obviously use whatever tree you want so we're just gonna use this little tree over here which i would like to think that does resemble the others that we have around the neighborhood so definitely picking some nice trees for your house is a game changer so uh, when it comes to landscaping i really really love to use these types of plants to kind of frame your whole landscaping and we're just gonna use this bush that's a technique that i use quite often to basically choose some flowers or bushes and then put a couple of these uh in your landscaping and use one big bush and then one small bush right next to each other i think it looks pretty pretty nice i really love how it looks because if we use like the same bush in the same size it will look quite boring and repetitive i also love this plant over here and so i'm trying to to put it in the corner to give it a bit of dimension because i feel like this whole part this whole landscaping part it's quite i don't know linear or plain and then obviously one more pro tip that i want to give you is to use as little you know flower variations because in my experience using different sorts of colors doesn't end up very well and so i'm trying my best you know you can even pick like two colors that's acceptable that's totally acceptable like look at this one we are just gonna place two more bushes and we picked the color pink and this color which is yellow so i feel like using multiple colors isn't the move for a nice landscaping and so i really love the way it looks so that's basically what i'm trying to do i'm just gonna try to move those things a bit more and i also like to frame the whole landscaping with some stones we're just gonna place three of them i really love how it looks like and then one more important thing that really changes the whole look is applying paint we're just gonna apply this dirt underneath our plants because it does give that realistic effect if that makes any sense so i really really love it and now as i said before i've changed my tree it's basically the same one but it has green leaves and so what i like to do is to actually put a bush or some types of flowers underneath this tree you know rather than applying some dirt underneath the tree i really feel like placing these types of flowers and then applying a touch of dirt really makes a big difference and also one more tiny thing that really changes the whole look of our house is adding planter boxes to our windows i really feel like it does change the whole vibe of the house if that makes any sense now if you are out of ideas you can obviously use some bushes around the house that's super super nice you can even wrap the whole house around with these sort of bushes and then start landscaping in some parts if that makes any sense so i really love placing bushes i think that it really you know completes the whole look so i'm just gonna size down this bush by hitting control and left square bracket and so we're just gonna use the same bush to wrap around the patio the backyard area even though it's quite tiny i really feel like this whole greenery changes the whole look the whole vibe you know what i'm saying so we're just gonna add a bit more landscaping in this corner of the house we're just gonna use the same bush and then these plants that i really really love to use i feel like they really do a great job in framing the whole you know landscaping part if that makes any sense we're just gonna add a smaller version of this bush as i said before i'm just hitting control and left 
square bracket basically and then we are just gonna use the same things that we used on the left hand side of the house basically so we're just gonna duplicate the same plants essentially because it will look pretty odd to use you know different sorts of plants that's just my point of view because i'm not very experienced uh with landscaping but you can definitely go for whatever you want i'm just saying that personally i love you know using the same things over and over again even though they do get a bit repetitive i suppose they do look better this way so we're just gonna duplicate the same tree over here we're just gonna size it down a bit and we're just gonna place the same plants underneath it and again do not forget to apply some dirt underneath your greenery your landscaping however you want to call it and now we are obviously gonna use the same tree in the backyard we're just gonna place the same flowers underneath our tree we're gonna use our dirt obviously and after completing all these steps i really think that it all comes down to putting down some uh, appliances some grills you know some uh, chairs and i really love using this terrain paint to sort of create a path if that makes any sense and now we're just gonna use the same plants again we're just gonna duplicate that bush some other you know plants over there and we're just gonna place them super super nicely so that it looks all put together and uh, coherent if that makes any sense so it's all about alternating because if you are using the same bush over and over again it's not gonna work it's not gonna look good we're just gonna use some rocks by the way i just have debug enabled and so that's why i have this ginormous stones in my catalog that's my bat it's basically all about using two to three different plants and sort of alternate between those so i really think that's the whole key the whole mystery behind landscaping because i'm gonna tell you guys i wasn't great at it either so i'm not that good at it right now but i feel like i've sort of uh, improved in a way i don't know i think it looks cute doesn't it of course i'm not that you know experienced landscapers that's not me obviously that's the best i could do and if you you know manage to learn something from this video i'm more than happy we're just gonna use some vines that come with get together i guess but i really do love incorporating vines or wall plants to different builds because i just think that it gives such a big personality to the house if that makes any sense so we're just gonna alternate as well we're just gonna add some roses as well well so it doesn't look that plain and that grassy if that makes any sense so you'll see that in a second it's all about sizing up and down things i really think it does come down to that so basically using different plants but not too many and sort of uh, alternating between those that is the key to a nice landscaping now i thought it would be a nice and cute idea to put down this fire pit because i don't usually use this one and so i thought it would be nice to have a much more rustic corner of this house because i don't typically do this so you know branching out is always fun trying out new things experimenting with different objects is always fun so i'm trying my best you guys we're just gonna use those camping chairs i think those are cold hopefully that's the way they are cold but either way we're just gonna place some other chairs like regular chairs next to that grill so that we can enjoy our food while sitting on a comfortable chair if that makes any sense i think i'm just gonna delete this landscaping part over here because i'm not very pleased with it and so one more thing that i really love to do is to add fountains so we are just gonna add this little pool which isn't theoretically a pool but you get what i'm saying we're just gonna apply this trim and we're just gonna place down some spraying water emitter so yeah i really do encourage you to use fountains it really really does add something to the house if that makes any sense don't forget about outdoor lighting that's very important we're just gonna place some of these right at the front of the house next to our doors that's super important because we don't want to you know live in the dark we're not living in a cave so always make sure to save your game that's super super important i also made sure to place a bird feeder i also love using these lights these standing outdoor lights because they really do look like a flower but i really do love incorporating them here and there 
there just to give something special to our backyard or front yard and so hopefully this little video provided you with some valuable information or with some tips and tricks that you can apply when you're landscaping i really do hope you find it useful as i said before variation is key but don't get overboard use two to three different plants alternate between those you know size down bushes size down flowers apply some dirt underneath those use some stones to frame the whole landscaping even better use appropriate trees for your build size them down place them in different spots of your lots to make the whole build look much more complete place some flowers underneath those trees and then try to wrap around your house with bushes if you feel like it add different fountains ponds all that jazz so it's all about creativity and it's all about finding a right balance between whatever you're gonna place down in your backyard or front yard you get what i'm saying and one more important and crucial thing that i totally forgot to tell you about guys is to enable bb.move objects on because otherwise you won't be able to freely place your plants and so we don't want that you just need to press ctrl shift c at the same time one more time to close your command bar so anyways you guys if you like this type of content please make sure to subscribe like comment hit that notification bell to be notified whenever i'm uploading a new video because it really really helps me a lot thank you so much i appreciate you a whole lot and i'll see you next friday at 2 p.m eastern time slash 7 p.m uk time as always have an awesome day just like you bye guys Thank you.